Right, so the K and N's are here. So <laughs> this video is probably going to be a little bit boring. I don't know. Thought I'd do it anyway. I'm going to be fitting the K and N's. Uh, I'm not going to bother doing a before and after drive. There's plenty of them on YouTube, but just what, because it's part of the build, might as well video it. So here we go. Before we do another time lapse. Yeah, um, not sure what this is for, but there's a hole in it. <laughs> and just below that is obviously the exhaust manifold. So um, yeah, that's not great for cold air intake. I'm be sucking warm air through there. Um, I have to figure out what that's called and order a new one. With the time being, I'm just gonna have to put the filters back in. Um, Cause I wanna drive it tonight. filters are in. Let's take it for a drive now. Um, the old filters, well, I say old, they're not really that old at all. Uh, obviously just quite recently had a service at Audi, so uh, full service. So these are pretty much new, but we won't be needing them anymore. Um, I think that's about it really. This guy. Signing off after two and a half minutes. It's hardly enough for a YouTube video, is it? Anyway, lucky for you, I got some extra content that I could sort of wang in there. Wang. That's the right word, wang. Oh well, here's the extra content. We've got a couple of videos now um, to sort of bolt this one out a little bit. And um, first one was actually recorded when the bumper was off when we were doing the condensers and the power steering cooler. Um, so, like I say, I already shot this, but didn't use it. I didn't put it on the end of that video because I didn't want to make it too long. But luckily for me, we got a video that's too short, so bargain. Um, so yeah, basically what it is, me sanding down the lights. Um, am I gonna go through it in a minute? I don't know, maybe I'll tell you in a minute. I don't know, the process. But yeah, so it's me doing a headlight refurb, and then also we're just gonna do a little video of um, the wheels. So I've had a few people ask me, you know, oh, don't get rid of the wheels. They're awesome. Why don't you just make them a bit wider? Because they're split rims. You know, we could make them wider. Um, it's just a little video showing why I can't be asked, basically. So um, yeah, enjoy. Right. So the process we're going to use on the lights. We're going to start with uh, 320 grit on the DA sander. Then we're going to go 500. Same thing again. Thousand, two thousand, and then we're going to finish uh, by polishing it with a coarse compound, a 3M compound. Um, it's the green top one, it's really coarse. It brings up just about anything. Um, and then once that's done, we're gonna go over it with the DA polisher, uh, just to remove any of the swirl marks that are left by the cutting compound. So at the end of it, hopefully, we're gonna have some maybe brand new looking lights. We'll see. <laughs>
I have talked about it previously in um, the second video saying that the obviously the width of the tires and the width of the wheels is just all wrong. I mean, if you see here, look, we have got stacks of room to widen the inner barrel. Um, you know, there's plenty of room there for more barrel. Obviously that will increase the width, but the problem lies with the outer dish really, because I, I don't like the stretch. I want less stretch. So less stretch means we're gonna have to increase the offset of the wheel to bring it slightly further in so there I can therefore I can run a slightly wider tire for the rim so it basically so it doesn't have as much stretch now the problem with that is as you can see in here we've not got much to play with so will that be enough I don't know I don't want to go messing with the wheels and then find out that you know I can't get the right size tire on it and we have to stick with this and then the fitment's not right. It's just, it's not worth messing about with. So, I mean, like, it takes so much effort to get something like this right, like the fitment right, um, which I can appreciate, but it doesn't really work for me. Um, like I said before, I want to be able to drive the car. I don't want it all sketchy on the road because the tires are too, too, um, too thin. Um, I mean, if you look underneath this thing, look, I mean, it's tiny for an R8. I mean, usually they'd be bloody massive tires on the rear, but yeah, so that's why I'm not going to mess about with them because just because it's not worth it. It's too much hassle. Better off just getting a set built for the car and to my own specifications. So take my own measurements and have them built and just sell these to someone who wants to run them on a show car. Hopefully I've dragged this video out enough so it's not so boring. I don't know, there's only so much you can do replacing some air filters. Hopefully it's not too boring. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Down there probably. Well, because I've been doing so well with these YouTube videos, we just hit, I think just hit 200 subscribers. So, you know, I'm rolling in it. So basically I went out I didn't go out. I went on the internet, on Amazon. Spent £13 on a green screen. Oh, <laughs> professional.